Hey guys, my name's Carlos. I'm a wedding photographer based out of New Jersey. And yeah, I had surgery on my shoulder, but it's getting better. Um, but this is about is the S5 II. And as a wedding photographer, I depend on my gear to get me the shots that I need and to work the way it should. And unfortunately, the S5 II, I came across an issue when using on-camera flash. Um, I'm using the Godox V862. There you go. You can see it's got the latest firmware, which I think it's uh, 1.4. Um, now, the only thing I've changed on the S5 II is I've increased the autofocus. So it's a little snappier, a little quicker. Um, now, the problem I'm having when using the continuous autofocus is that there's a slight delay. It feels like about a half a second delay um when taking the picture so i'll show you here if you could see that i press the button i release my finger the picture is taken I'll do it again and this is in continuous i'm just going to change the autofocus here i'm doing uh just spot in the center autofocus point pointing right here at the window so there's a Good amount of contrast there and you see that right there pressing shouldn't take that long um, as a wedding photographer that delay right there is gonna have me miss my shots something's happening in front of me I expect the camera to snap the picture as soon as I press the button not about a half second later um, when I move it to single it's a little quicker Still a slight delay, but not as long as the continuous autofocus. Is this acceptable? Yes, but still as a wedding photographer, event photographer, or just any photographer, when you see something happening and you press that shutter button, you want that camera to snap that photo right then and there. That slight delay is definitely going to have you miss your shot. So here we go again. Switching it to manual focus now. And it's about as quick as single autofocus. Moving it back to continuous just to show you here. Boom, there's a slight delay. Now, funny thing is that when I use a Nikon version of the V862, it works so much faster. Let me show you. Here we go, guys. You can see that? Is it black? There you go. V862 for Nikon. Pop it on. I got it on single autofocus. So. Here we go. Boom. Instant. Like, no delays. I'm going to go to continuous autofocus now. Slight delay. You see that, right? Pressing the button, finger comes off. Even if I keep my, I'm taking my finger off so you could see how slow it takes to actually um, close the shutter and capture the photo. But there is a delay. I'm pressing the button. Press. See how close I can get. You can see. Back to single, instant, right away. And I know I can use the Nikon version. That's not a problem. Um, problem is if I want to use high speed sync, I can't. I got to revert back to the Lumix version or the Olympus version of the Godox flash. And then I run back into that problem where I have that delay. Um, so uh, Lumix, if you're watching this, please, can this be fixed with a firmware or is this something that's just the way the camera is built? Um, I'm hoping it's a firmware because if it is the way the camera is built, I'm going to have to return it, which I really don't want to do. I love the camera. I love it for video. I love it for photos. But that issue with the flash needs to be addressed. 
So Lumix, if you're listening, I'd be happy to chat with you, go over these issues that I'm having. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I put it out there on Facebook. I'm going to put this out there now on YouTube, hoping that someone hears me and can address this and uh, hopefully get this fixed so that way photographers can start making their way over to Lumix and um, enjoy the benefits of having one of these in their hands. Thank you.